Hi, I'm Sarah, and this is an RPG in a Box tutorial. Today we'll finish up the first section of the Model Tools panel by looking at the Move Voxels, Select Voxels, Eyedropper, and Attach Point tools. So let's open up RPG in a Box and start learning. So I am back in the Voxel Editor. I have my weird chair thing that I made in the last video open, and I am looking at the second row of tools on the Model Tool panel. The first tool on the second row is the Move Voxels tool, hotkey 5 or F5. It functions similarly to the movement buttons in the viewport, except you hold and drag to move either the entire model if you have no voxels selected or the selected voxels. Like the movement buttons, the movement is relative to your camera view. You can also use Control plus left click, hold and drag in other tool modes, other than the move tool mode, to quickly move your model or selected voxels without even having to switch to the move tool. But if you're like me and you keep forgetting the shortcut for that, there's always this move voxels tool. The sixth tool is the select voxels tool. The hotkeys for it are six and F6. It selects voxels in a box, starting at the location you left click, and ending diagonally with the location that you release on. You can also hold shift while selecting voxels to add them to your selection. And you can hold alt shift while selecting voxels to subtract any voxels you don't want from your selection. Now, if we switch back to the move voxels tool or hold control and drag our selection, we can move only the selected voxels. To deselect all voxels, just click outside of the voxel grid while the selection tool is active, or hit hotkey escape while your cursor is in the viewport. This tool also allows you to copy, cut, and paste voxels from any frame in your model to any other frame in any open model, not just the model that your selection is from. You can copy selected voxels by using the icon that looks like two sheets of paper or with the hotkey Control C. You can cut selected voxels using the scissors icon or hotkey Control X, and you can paste voxels using the clipboard icon or hotkey Control V. After you paste any cut or copied voxels, the editor will go into a placement mode where you can use the movement buttons and the rotation buttons or click and drag to adjust your selection however you'd like. And it won't affect your existing model at all until you either click the accept button at the bottom of the viewport, which will then paste your selection in place and overwrite any overlapping voxels or click the cancel button. which will exit placement mode, leaving your model exactly how it was before pasting. The seventh tool is the eyedropper or pick color tool. Its hotkeys are seven and F7. It very simply sets the selected color to the color of the voxel that you use the tool on. You can easily select other colors without even switching to this tool. For example, while you have the paint or attach voxels tool active, by holding Alt and clicking on the voxel whose color you want to select. The eighth and final tool is Create Attach Point. Its hotkeys are 8 and F8. We learned a little about Attach Point in Voxel Editor Basics 03. Attach Points are really powerful and they open up a lot of graphical possibilities. However, we're just going to cover the basics because this is Voxel Editor Basics. If you would be interested in a standalone tutorial focused solely on attach points, please let me know in the comments though. Creating an attach point is simple. With the tool selected, just click on an existing voxel and the new attach point dialog will pop up asking you to name the new attach point. Give it a name. I'm going to call this one seat because it is on the seat of the chair. 
Now, in order to actually do anything with the attach point, we'll need to switch from the model tools tab, let's make it a little bigger, to the model properties tab. There's a lot of info on here, but for now, let's just scroll all the way to the bottom down to the attach point section, which is denoted by the same chain link icon as the attach point tool. Next to the icon is a drop down containing a list of all the objects attach points. Directly to the right of the drop down is a pencil icon, which will allow you to rename the attach point, along with a checkbox to choose whether the attach point is renamed on all frames or just the current frame. Next to that is the preview attached objects shortcut, which functions exactly like it does on the voxel editor toolbar. So if you're interested in how that works and you haven't watched Voxel Editor Basics 03, go check it out now. And finally, the red X will open up a confirmation dialog asking if you want to delete the attach point. Click OK to delete or cancel to exit without deleting. The menu underneath the dropdown controls the position, rotation, and scaling of the item attached to the attach point. To best demonstrate this, let's use preview attached objects to attach an item to the seat attach point that we created. So we click preview attach objects, make sure the seat attach point is chosen. I am going to select the sword model from the object model dropdown because I know it has an existing attach point. So now we have a very uncomfortable looking chair. So let's use the offset and rotation keys to make it appear as if the sword is sitting on the seat of the chair. I am going to turn off display attach points on the toolbar just so we can get a better look of our sword handle. First, let's use the offset sliders. X offset moves your attachment along the X axis, Y along the Y, and Z along the Z axis. I want my sword to be lying directly on the seat. So let's see, that seems to be at Z 10.5. And we can type exact numbers in so you don't have to try to get an exact number using the slider. And now let's rotate the sword so that it's lying flat on the seat. So the axes work the same for rotation, X, Y and Z. So Y, let's go negative 90, get it flat. And then Z, let's put it at a nice little angle like so. There we go. Now the scale factor sets the scaling of objects attached to the attach point. You can use it, for example, to make a helmet a little bigger so it doesn't clip to your character's head or to make this sword teeny, 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 tiny. Of note, but beyond the scope of this tutorial, is that attach points can be added, deleted, moved, scaled, and rotated uniquely on each frame. So they can also be used to create animations. I hope that now you feel even more confident to get into RPG in a box and start creating your own models. There's still quite a bit more to cover in the voxel editor though, so I'll be seeing you again very soon. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, subscribing, and for your continued support of RPG in a Box. If you'd like to support me and Justin even further, come check out our Patreon, which you can find the link in the description box down below. You are awesome, and I hope you have an awesome day. Bye-bye!